News 12 this morning. Your news now. Good morning and welcome back into News 12 this morning. Well, Chattanooga's only multi-fandom convention returns today for three days of workshops, contests, exhibits, and just plain fun. And where else can you find fans of vampire books, science fiction movies, TV shows, cosplay, anime, and Disney all under one roof? Well, joining us this morning, special guests from this year's convention. We have New York Times best-selling author Faith Hunter, yes. and from Star Trek Continues, we have Michelle Speck. So glad to have you both in this morning. Ah, thank you for having us. Certainly. Um, Faith, I want to start with you, since okay. you're kind of here on the end. I, I want to make sure you don't feel left out way over there, because you're so far away. I know, <laughs> I um, know. And I'm just the writer, and writers are just not that important. <laughs> it's the on-screen people, and I do know that. No, that, that's not <laughs> true. I, you're, <laughs> your that's Jane the old Yellow joke. Rock series is... Extremely popular. Yes, thank you. It is. It's doing How quite well and still growing at, at 10 books, which is nice. And I know you started writing when you were much like younger. You can be, you can be polite. Grade. Much yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> Excellent. So, so what was it that inspired you to come up with this character? And how many like iterations so did you go through before oh, well, you finally so settled? I got so tired on? of of the s sparkly vampires. Yeah, they're predators. They Thank drink you. blood. Thank you know, you. I <laughs> want them to be truly evil. And so I have a my character is a, a skinwalker, a Cherokee skinwalker, and her job is she hunts rogue vampires. So my vampires are truly evil, and my main character kills them, which is what good people should do, right? You should kill the bad guys. That's oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> um, but it, it does. It's, it is very satisfying, and, and um, they're dark, evil people of the night, and my character has done very well. She also is uh, one of the two sold. She accidentally pulled the soul of a mountain lion into her when she was five years old. So that's how she's a shapeshifter. So she's a shapeshifter, and she also is... Um, uh, she can form almost any shape as long as the law of conservation of energy mass is met. So it has to be something that's about her size. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, she can track, she can be a whatever big creature she needs to be to track the bad guys. You've come up with bring them in. 30 plus some odd stories for her and yeah. other books as well. Yeah. How does that story process work for you? With Do you Jane, sit down and really say, okay, I'm going to come up with a story, or does it just kind of pop in your head? With Jane, it's really easy now, because I'm right now writing my 11th novel, and there have been about 20 novellas and short stories, so mm. she just she just pops out of my head and goes. She's she really tells you well the established. She wants to go. When I start a new character, I've just started a Soulwood series, where my character is sort of a fey, wood nymph type creature, she's hard. She's just mm. not as easy as Jane because Jane is half stakes will travel. She chases the bad guys, and it's sort of um, uh, Jack Reacher meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Wow. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Really yeah, isn't that fun? That is. Yeah, so she's very easy to write, and uh, I think that's one reason why the fans, the, the fans pick up on that. Is she's very visceral. She's very earthy, and um, I'm having fun with her. That's the main thing. At, at you know, my age, I need to have fun with what I'm doing. <laughs> and, and Michelle, your, your series is... is it's almost like fan fiction come to life. You know, oh, fans very much so. have always wanted to see Star Trek, right. the original series, exactly. finish and the its original mission, series. and it never did, and Star now Trek you all we, are giving yeah. them a chance to. It's the show we never got more of. We had several amalgamations within the Star Trek universe after the original series ended. We had Next Gen and Deep Space Nine, and they're all wonderful, but the one series we never got back was the original, the one that started it all. And they had a five-year mission, but they only completed three years of it. So what happened? for the last two years of the mission that would bring them to where all those characters were in their story arc when the movies, the Star Trek movies, mm -hmm. picked up. A lot happened. And we are, our goal of our show, Star Trek Continues, is to faithfully recreate um, the style, the feel, the look, the lighting, the costumes, the stories, the presentation exactly the way the original series was and bring those characters and those story arcs to their logical conclusion, to finish the five-year mission and bring them all to a place that makes sense when the uh, Star Trek movies picked up. And tell so everybody at home about your character. Oh, yes, my <coughs> character. Uh, well, because we're finishing out the fourth and fifth season, obviously new things are happening that are bringing uh, those characters and the world of Star Trek toward what was uh, commonplace when the Next Generation uh, series started. So in the Next Generation, when, which is 100 years after uh, the original series, there were ship's counselors on every ship. Well, when did that happen? Because there certainly wa weren't any on the original series for the first three years that we saw. So I am the 
pilot program, the very first ever <laughs> oh, ship's counselor the on the Starship wonderful. Enterprise. <laughs> I know, it's wonderful. And for a geek like me, it's just a dream come true. So anyone who loves the original series and wish there was more of it and remembers very fondly sitting on that shag rug watching those <laughs> <laughs> episodes, <laughs> they, should, they should watch Star Trek Continues. They will be very pleased. They will feel like they discovered the original series all over again. Well, folks at home are going to have a chance to find out more about Star yes. Trek Continues and also the books that you write at Con Nuga this weekend. Sorry. Faith okay. Michelle, we I appreciate you both joining us this <laughs> Thank morning. Thank you for having us. I'm going to show people wonderful. at home where they can get to Con Nuga. Yes. Here's the graphic. We can go there. Let's go there now. We're not going there. All right. We're not going to the graphic. <laughs> right. Con Nuga starts Con Nuga. today. If you just go to connuga.com, you can get all there the information go. and find out when and where <laughs> Faith and Michelle oh, will there be. there we go. Yeah, there yes. we go. It starts at noon. It's at two locations, the Convention Center and the Choo Choo. We're going to give away some tickets this morning, too. Give us a call right now at 756-1212, and the 12th caller will win two passes to Con Nuga. We'll be right back.